Hi there, and welcome back, friend, to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where we are in the Game of Throws of Sir Hans Capon's Amorous Adventures. And we are looking for a strange nobleman who took Hans necklace that he wants to give some butcher's daughter. And he supposedly was seen here last time. So... Let's head there to the west. And whoop, here we go. Yeah. Let's hope we don't meet too many bandits. As when we're going into these dice player things. And it's often probably has something to do with it. Let's see if they will try to stop us. We've also encountered countless bandits here. And we want to practice our axe skills, so we need to be a little bit careful. Because we're really bad at axing. And we got a little disgruntled because we really messed up the tournament. We're so bad at it. We're really ashamed, but I mean we reached the second round against the Against the scribe's apprentice. <laughs> it's so terrible. <sighs> oh. Well, we guess we're just good at making some money and catching whatever it is. What is that? I warned you, you cur. What's going Damn. on? Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking here. Ah! 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 God. Got him against the tree. Come on, poacher man. Come out of this. What did he have here? Hmm. Nice stuff. I uh, you hunting bow. That's not even too bad. <sighs> man, man, man. Got to say, what do you have here? Pork. And here is CX. That's some terrible things you got here. Chance. Oh, come on, is he at it again? We'll go down here, it's all good. Let's just not fall to death. Famous last words. 
Ooh. I'm really afraid because you can fall to death very easily here. Uh, let's get through this. There's the hose. Nice. Uh, what's, what's going on? Really? Go west. Life is peaceful there. Onwards to Sasau. Hopefully, it's just around the corner. It's, it's getting evening. Uh, we're not gonna go there at night. I can tell you that. We've had enough of surprises at night. Um, yeah, that's the right path. We'll play some comfy dice game, maybe. Or maybe not. We'll read a book. Yeah, let's... We need to change, because... That turning has really shown us that we're terrible. At many things. And so we need to change. Let's read a book before we... Go to sleep. Let's make that a rule. Best rule ever. Bucephalus, you enjoy yourself. We need to read a book and then learn. Ah. Sit here, we can sit here. The bed, just the best. So what do we have? Yeah, we have our everyday labors. We can learn something though, so let's do that. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? You'll find out in our latest publication, a primer for the 15th century coming soon, scriptorium near you. Let's learn all of that. Here we go. I was an avid reader. Oh, look at that, a comfort of 150%. That's just crazy good. learned so much and we can sleep until 5 a.m. and be ready for more investigations well, I just wanted to get up oh, get up But our energy goes down when we sleep. What was that? Or did we read on or what? We left even the door open. It's terrible, but what what we gotta do is what we gotta do. This time, mm, no longer. Where do we need to go? Mm, northwest. And there's also something else here, if I've seen that right, what is... Oh, no. Okay. Just to the northwest. It's okay. Let's go. The main road, please. No surprises. Yeah. It's 
time it's time. Get out of my way, sheep. You got to go deep. What is going on there? Oh, we got a we got a strange hut there. Oh, ah, oh my goodness. Can we go down there? Yeah, it seems like it. Nice. Well, the sun should shine soon. Hopefully. So where, oh, here, look. Look, there's something. What is that? Hmm. And who is that? Well, at least he doesn't attack us. Are you after something? I'm afraid <sighs> I won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um, well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um, a, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Donkey, in the service of... Of Donkey? Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. I'm always listening. Tell me what you know. I will. Have you seen that? There's sure someone sneaking around matches. in the background. The thing is, this is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him like this. I mean, his corpse, uh, right? God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. Business so matter? Ended up. We need to know what when business matter that is. Together, I took a look around and Leads to this. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the uh, bandits' um, camp. From business to bandits now. Fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. Hmm. What a mess, right? Word. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? Hmm. I'll help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. Yeah, no Where worries. We do... We're experienced in that. I want to ask There's you things about him. How do we disguise as him? Well, that doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. Ah, so they so didn't know he was him, Alphonse. Sure they took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Hi. He moves in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. So many bandits. Why don't you do it yourself? Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? Or do they know After you? All, I know nothing about this, Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me. And I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. Then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Um, 
What do I need to know? Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. Um. How would I recognize the killer? And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognize anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. Dice, he had a okay. Dice made specially in Prague. Very it interesting. Joy. They were red and gold, bright. Uh -huh. and Let's note that not down. The kind of thing you'd overlook. Red and gold dice. Tell me more about Alphonse. Can you tell me about Alphonse, so they don't catch me out if they start asking questions? Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. He yeah, sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. Uh -huh. That was ages ago. Moravia and Prokop of Luxembourg. Okay, better than nothing. And this... What do you know about the brigands in that case? It's cabin? brigands. Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bilovitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. Mm, they very interesting. They hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. There's nothing I'd like to see more than a lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with Earhart. Hmm. What would he negotiate about? What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Maybe I can negotiate as well. Best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid, uh -huh. since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchants' wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff, nor Vlasheen for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Uh... Damn politics. I just don't want to know. I want I that necklace. So Anselm. Let's inspect this. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? Or something in particular? Oh, looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had. Money, jewellery, even his boots. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? Scorched map. Let's sleep here. Oh. Hmm. It looks like someone went this way with the nobleman's horse. Probably over the bridge. And then into this direction. And then hopefully 
up here. Well, he would follow paths, right? But not this path. Uh, impossible to see now. So look at the map too. I just found the scorched map. Hmm. There's an X here and three dice. So it's West Sasau. Hmm. Yeah, that's what's shown on the map. So well then. I guess we'll go this way. But first, let's somehow get there. Hey, Bucephalus. Need to be quick. You nip. What did we find now? Something lying around here. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's there's a path. There's a new path. Nice. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode. When we negotiate with Earhart, I guess. We're not looking too shabby. Oh. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. Have a great time until next time. And happy gaming.